Everything that happens on the land in a watershed affects the water body into which it drains. A stream, pond, or wetland can only be as healthy as its watershed. How we use the land affects the health of our aquatic resources, and that in turn affects us and what we do in the watershed. For example, when we go fishing, many streams and rivers run through Texas's cities. Here, the San Antonio River runs alongside San Antonio's famous river walk. In a healthy watershed, water is filtered and stored. But as water runs downhill, it can pick up whatever is on the ground, beginning a process of altering water quality. When it flows through cities or across fields and pastures, water picks up dirt, pollutants, and heat. Contaminants can flow into a stream, wetland, or lake, affecting the water you use to drink, swim, or fish in. When you do the laundry, fertilize and water your lawn, wash in the sink, or dump used oil on the ground, you are affecting water quality in your watershed all the way into the Gulf of Mexico. Even when you flush your toilet, you send pollution somewhere. Here in Texas, that's usually to a treatment facility, septic system, or other means to eliminate harmful wastes. Water pollution is described in two ways. One is point source pollution. Point source pollution comes from a single source that people can identify or point to, such as a pipe connected to a specific place. The other way is called non-point source pollution. This comes from a combination of many sources rather than from a single outlet. Examples of non-point source pollution include runoff from fields and construction areas, fertilizers used on lawns and golf courses, fuel and oil and antifreeze from our roads, and animal waste and bacteria from places like feedlots. Finding and preventing water pollution in our state is vital to every Texan's quality of life. What do you think is the biggest pollutant in Texas waters? Is it sewage, industrial chemicals, pesticides, fertilizers, trash? Well, believe it or not, the biggest pollutant of Texas waters is plain old dirt, dirt from sedimentation. Even though chemical pollution and too much bacteria in the water from sewage are what people usually hear about the most, it's sedimentation. Now, the proper name for dirt is soil, and when it gets into a water body, we call it sediment. The biggest pollution problem in Texas waters is excess sediment. Sediment is any bit of rock or soil, such as mud, clay, silt, sand, gravel, well, even boulders. Excess sediment blocks out light, can kill aquatic plants, and prevent their growth. Sediment covers up the nooks and crannies that aquatic organisms live in. It can smother fish by clogging their gills and by reducing the amount of dissolved oxygen in the water. 